Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our uh, live uh, daily market outlook. Uh, today is Wednesday, 31st of October 2012, last day of uh, the month. Uh, some actions seen uh, this morning, continuation of uh, yesterday's uh, movements uh, with a rather quiet uh, Asian uh, trading. Uh, Euro and sterling are continuing their uh, uh, near-term recovery as yes, uh, single currency now approaches uh, 130 barrier. This is our initial uh, resistance on a rally from uh, 129 base, uh, while uh, sterling already broke above uh, 161. That is also the uh, trend line resistance uh, heading towards uh, uh, next and the key near-term barrier at uh, 161.42. Uh, uh, dollar yen is uh, showing some uh, uh, fresh momentum uh, gaining of uh, yesterday's uh, 79.27 low. Extending recovery now approaching 80.00 as a psychological resistance while uh, resistance while the uh, dollar Swiss is now uh, again testing uh, important uh, 93 support following upside uh, rejection at uh, 200 days moving average at uh, 93.85 uh, with the more negative tone seen in the near term uh, as loss of uh, 93 would produce uh, some uh, further weakness. Uh, Commodities are waking up again, uh, though still uh, within the range. Uh, talking about gold, it's currently attempting towards uh, upper boundary of the recent range at 17, 17, 17, 20, break of which is uh, uh, required to, to finally show some uh, more action and uh, uh, break out of the past couple of days range that was uh, limited on the downside by 1700 and on the upside by approximately uh, 1720 uh, uh, with the crude oil December contact also attempting at, at 86 uh, 40 50 zone that marks the upper boundary of the uh, past uh, couple of days uh, range however the overall uh, picture for oil is still uh, uh, quite uh, bleak and uh, more focused seen towards the downside unless uh, we see the gain of uh, levels approximately 87 70 and 88 uh, zero, zero. of course more of all this uh, we will uh, see in our uh, uh, technical uh, part. Uh, need to say that uh, markets are uh, uh, awaiting basically the uh, non-farm payrolls that are due uh, coming uh, Friday as well as uh, next week's uh, US presidential elections. Uh, that will give us uh, some more clue. America is uh, uh, today uh, slightly uh, recovering basically from its uh, uh, storm after it uh, passed through and basically weakened the uh, after hitting the East Coast, but uh, heavy damages and a uh, lot of uh, fatalities seen. Uh, not to elaborate much of this, as uh, uh, we all uh, follow the news uh, from America uh, through the media. Uh, important also uh, to mention that the Eurozone ministers uh, will co-hold uh, today the conference call uh, to discuss about uh, progress in negotiations. Uh, uh, with Greece of the revised uh, Greek uh, bailout, but are not expected uh, to make any decision yet, uh, as uh, information given to the media said. Representatives of uh, European Commission, uh, European Central Bank and the International Monetary Fund are in talks with the Greek government on reforms uh, that uh, Athens uh, cut off from a market borrowing in 2010 has to implement uh, to get emergency uh, credit from the Eurozone and IMF uh, flowing again. The three institutions uh, called the Troika are also to prepare a report on uh, uh, Greek debt sust sustainability and uh, uh, ponder ways of uh, finding additional financing if Greece were to reach a, a primary sur surplus of uh, approximately 4.5% uh, of the GDP in uh, 2016 rather than uh, 2014. Troika estimate uh, presented to junior uh, uh, Eurozone finance ministers uh, last week showed that Greece uh, would need an extra 30 billion euros uh, to be financed over the two extra years. From uh, today's uh, calendar, uh, we start uh, with uh, some uh, already being released uh, during the night. Uh, uh, I would say we should uh, focus the general retail sales uh, released uh, about, about an hour ago for October. Uh, a quite impressive result, 1.5% uh, uh, seen raise in the October compared to uh, September retail sales uh, gains of point, uh, pardon, forecast of 0.6 and the September ones uh, quite weak at uh, 0.3%. Uh, uh, with the French consumer spending came, coming at 0.1%, uh, uh, disappointing uh, 
uh, from uh, July 0.4% and forecast of 0.2%. Uh, 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 the CPI from Italy is due at 10 o'clock GMT, 0.2% uh, in, increase. Uh, one more imp important is the Eurozone uh, uh, CPI estimation for uh, October that is uh, expected uh, to take lower to 2.5 percent compared to 2.6 percent in the month of uh, September and unemployment rate in the Eurozone uh, in October is expected to stay unchanged at 11.4 uh, percent according to the forecast. Uh, Canadian uh, monthly GDP for August uh, is also forecasted unchanged at 0.2 uh, percent uh, while uh, this is at 12.30 uh, GMT uh, while the US uh, Chicago PMI uh, for October is uh, according to the forecast seen improving to 51 uh, compared to 49.7 release of uh, month of September uh, a reminder a break above uh, <clears throat> 50 uh, shows that the uh, economy is uh, growing while the uh, any figures uh, below the 50 barrier are uh, uh, showing a contraction of the economy and finally the US uh, crude oil inventory is due at uh, 14.30 GMT today. Another build of the U.S. crude stocks is forecasted for today. Uh, 1.5 million build is uh, forecasted compared to last week's build of 5.9 billion, pardon, 5.9 million barrels. And uh, look at the technical uh, uh, part of our uh, presentation to see the latest uh, movements and the. Uh, estimations and forecasts uh, for uh, today. Starting with Euro, as shown on the four-hour chart, a uh, good base uh, was built at uh, 129 uh, zone uh, with the fresh strength seen uh, yesterday and the brief consolidation uh, uh, during the Asian session uh, produced the fresh uh, rally in, at the beginning of European uh, session break above the channel resistance at approximately 129.60 and uh, currently attacking at uh, 130.00, that is a psychological barrier. And just above this, we have uh, uh, 130.10, the 50% retracement of the entire down move from 130.138 to 128.81. And the lower top at uh, 130.21 of uh, 25th of October. A break here, I would say, at this point uh, is required to confirm the base at uh, 129 zone and open way uh, for a stronger uh, recovery. As uh, said, the hourly studies are gaining momentum, uh, pardon, four-hour studies are gaining momentum, while hourly are already above uh, their midlines and uh, strongly pointing higher. That gives the near-term uh, prospect uh, for further extension uh, towards the upside targets, uh, 130.20 and 130.40. <clears throat> On the daily uh, chart, uh, despite the indicators still holding uh, above the uh, their midlines, uh, it's evident that uh, the pair is entrenched within uh, 128 and the uh, 131.70 range, uh, rather sideways uh, movements, but uh, important to mention that the uh, main bull trend line of uh, 120.42, approximately at 129 level, so far holds the downside and prevents uh, basically of uh, attempting and attacking the uh, very important and strong support at uh, 128.30, 128.00, where we have the 200 days uh, uh, moving average and the recent uh, lows of uh, beginning of October, double bottom at uh, 128.00 and the 128.25, that also marks the uh, near-term uh, range uh, floor currently uh, bounce higher and the regain of uh, uh, 130.130.20, that is uh, required uh, to confirm the near-term uh, a bullish stance and open way for stronger recovery is underway. As said, we need to see break above these levels in order to uh, confirm the bulls of uh, 129. Initial uh, signal was given on break above the trend line and the 38.2 percent retracement at uh, 129.79. Uh, the pair is now looking for test of 130, 130.20 and 130.40, which is 61.8 percent. Uh, Retracement above which is comes uh, to 130.80 and the 131.00 on a break. Uh, from Ichimoku studies, the daily uh, cloud the top uh, uh, comes at the same levels uh, with the current uh, base, approximately 128.85, and underpins the current action. As the price now breaks above, uh, Kijun Sen is already uh, below, and the current attempting uh, above the Tenkan Sen that will confirm the. A bullish structure and open way for the uh, test of uh, previously mentioned uh, levels uh, from ADX. Uh, uh, 
uh, developing uh, uptrend on the four hour chart confirms the uh, bulls are firmly in play and the our targets at 130 130 20 are uh, seen as uh, uh, are coming into near term uh, focus a similar is uh, with the sterling that uh, also uh, broke important uh, barrier first uh, broke the yesterday speak at uh, 160.84 and then now break above uh, uh, 161 uh, uh, barrier brings the near term uptrend uh, back in play as uh, we can sh as shown on the hourly ADX uh, indicator a uh, similar is uh, with the uh, four hour chart so we are uh, in the firm uptrend uh, that is uh, that started from a uh, 159 base and it's uh, uh, defined by the lower uh, higher point at uh, 16005 this is our uh, yesterday's uh, pardon two days ago uh, higher low uh, main target now comes at uh, 16142 peak of uh, 25th of october uh, basically important uh, to mention is uh, that uh, uh, break above the triangle resistance that uh, coincides with the near uh, with the main bear trend line of 16308 at uh, uh, 161 and now shifts the focus higher in our this morning in this morning's uh, uh, written uh, analysis I mentioned that uh, break of either side as uh, the picture was not clear earlier uh, was uh, still having a, a downside in play uh, with break of either side of the triangle to define as uh, to define the uh, near term direction as the range uh, narrowed that in past uh, two days now break uh, above the triangle resistance is the and trend line the resistance is the first uh, indicator uh, if we see the break above uh, 16142 uh, that will confirm a uh, uh, base at uh, 159 zone and open uh, next uh, significant barriers 16178 and uh, uh, 16200 uh, positive uh, the four hour indicators are now turning uh, positive uh, moving into the positive territory while the hourlies are uh, already in the above their midlines but uh, approaching overbought territory that uh, might signal some uh, hesitation ahead of a possible uh, uh, stretch towards uh, 161.42 and the dollar yen is uh, uh, back to strength after finding support at 79.27 uh, they recovery the corrective uh, pullback of uh, recent peak uh, uh, last Friday's peak at 80.37 dipped uh, to 80.27. Uh, the initial uh, risk was seen on the possible test of uh, uh, 79 uh, support uh, as uh, the in the indicators uh, turned the negative and the price broke below the 55 days uh, moving average. But quick recovery seen yesterday and this morning's uh, fresh strength uh, now approaching uh, 80.00 uh, with the four-hour indicators pointing higher, but uh, I would say still in the negative uh, territory and hourly is now breaking above the midlines. Uh, uh, scope is seen for a test of uh, initial psychological barrier at 80.00 to open way towards uh, minor resistance. Yesterday's uh, uh, spike high at uh, after Bank of Japan released their uh, monetary policy at 80.13 and then uh, uh, more significant is uh, 80.37 uh, break of which this is the peak of uh, 26 of October 2012 a uh, break of which to open a uh, way for further extension of uh, the uptrend from uh, 7712 we can see on the daily chart that uh, basically 200 days uh, moving average contained the uh, recent uh, pullback of uh, 8037 with a brief spike uh, seen yesterday to 7927 and a quick recovery uh, keeping a more positive uh, tone uh, in play for a possible uh, extension through 8037 to test our next upside target uh, 8065 peak of uh, 25th of June uh, also 50% retracement of uh, 8417 to 7712 uh, descent a bit uh, stretched uh, conditions on the hourly on the daily chart uh, I see some uh, possible risk of further congestion but uh, uh, yet uh, and no firm signal of any deeper uh, reversal although the stochastic is uh, now trying attempting to reverse higher uh, I would say more focusing towards the upside as long as uh, 79.27 and the uh, more important 79.00 stay intact uh, uh, with break above 80.00 required uh, initially to uh, conf confirm the near term uh, bullish stance uh, for test of uh, 80.37 failure at 80.00 could uh, risk uh, further uh, congestion while break below 79.27 would be again uh, near term bearish and the uh, uh, most likely then focused towards uh, 79.00 as a round figure 
as support and also significant is 78, 87, 61.8% retracement of up leg from 77.94 to 80.37, also close to uh, peak of uh, 5th of October 2012, that is at 78, uh, 86, uh, break below, I would say 78, 80 would be quite uh, bearish and they uh, would uh, confirm the uh, top at uh, 80.37 and uh, then focus uh, lower, uh, 79.50 is the 200 days uh, moving average also. And finally, dollar Swiss that is attacking uh, 893 support, it's already been uh, dented, uh, 92.96 since so far. Upside the rejection, several attempts at uh, 200 uh, uh, days moving average as we can see that uh, even previous action was uh, uh, showing the false breaks above uh, uh, this uh, uh, barrier. Uh, currently, the attempt uh, one at uh, 26 of, of, of October at 93.86 and the series of uh, lower uh, tops uh, uh, signal the upside. The failure that is uh, uh, about to be confirmed at uh, clear break on clear break uh, below 93.00 that also uh, marks 50% retracement of the entire. Uh, a recovery leg from 92.13 to 93.85. Uh, below this we have uh, a lower, uh, high, uh, higher low at uh, 92.89, low of uh, 25th of October, and then 92.79, 61.8% retracement. Uh, basically the break point is seen at uh, 92.89. This is the low of 25th of October and the high of uh, uh, 19th of October, break of which is uh, to confirm the lower top at uh, 93.85 and again uh, then the focus set uh, towards the downside. Uh, uh, four hour indicators are now all breaking below their midlines and pointing uh, lower while negative tone dominates on the hourly chart uh, with the uh, RSI now approaching the overbought territory uh, that might signal some uh, consolidation around the uh, 93, 92.80 but overall the uh, tone remains uh, negative and sees more focus in the near term towards the downside as uh, daily studies uh, are still in the negative territory and despite uh, pointing higher on the latest uh, bounce from uh, 92.13 uh, still lacking a, a stronger momentum for a possible break above uh, 92.85 and then pardon 93.85 and then 94 uh, 30, 36 double top uh, also the descending 55 days uh, moving average cluster of uh, uh, quite uh, good barriers are keeping the upside protected and uh, uh, turning uh, focus in the near term again towards the downside levels. And as said, the commodities uh, woke up uh, this morning uh, uh, after uh, being congested between within the uh, ranges. Uh, the crude oil uh, uh, held uh, basically above 85 despite the spike of uh, 294.67 to seen two days ago. Uh, current uh, rally uh, broke uh, again 86, 86, 55 uh, seen so far with the slight improvement seen on the uh, one hour chart. Uh, although the uh, four hour indicators are now pointing higher, MACD is uh, approaching the midline uh, with fresh momentum building up. Uh, still, we need to see the break of initial uh, uh, barriers 86, uh, 75 as 23.6% uh, retracement and uh, 87 and 87, uh, 45, the 24th of October uh, high, along with the more significant low of uh, 3rd of October at 87, 70, uh, where is also approximately the, uh, pardon, the, below this is the 55 days moving average that is now uh, turning uh, sideways. At this point, the break above the range uh, top at uh, approximately 87 is, the, is seen as the first indicator of uh, uh, possible recovery, but uh, we need to see the break above 87.70 uh, and 88.00, that is uh, equivalent to 38.2% uh, retracement of uh, uh, 93.50 to 84.67 descend uh, in order to confirm the near-term base and allow for some uh, stronger recovery. Uh, larger uh, picture outlook uh, remains uh, uh, still in the negative uh, territory. Initially, the doji candle showed on uh, 26th of uh, October showed the indecision uh, of uh, the market, uh, while yesterday's uh, inside day candle is again uh, showing uh, either indecision or uh, possible uh, reversal of the current uh, downtrend. Uh, of course, uh, break above the previously mentioned level levels is uh, required uh, to confirm. As said, more focus is still seen uh, towards the downside with the latest uh, 
uh, rally is still being uh, seen as uh, corrective as long as uh, a very strong barrier and the uh, range uh, range stop at 93.50 that capped the upside uh, from uh, mid of uh, middle September middle of September until the middle of uh, October is regained the break above this level is uh, required basically to uh, ease the bear pressure and open way towards uh, 95.17 which is the 200 days moving average and possibly to uh, refocus uh, 100 dollars uh, per barrel so far more uh, focus uh, seen uh, towards the uh, downside with the current uh, movements uh, still uh, to be seen as uh, corrective and uh, rather consolidative uh, uh, before the bears uh, reassert and uh, for possible attack uh, down towards our uh, initial target at 83.64. Uh, the similar situation is with the yellow metal that is uh, strong, uh, rallying strongly this morning uh, now attacking the better seen on the four hour chart the uh, near term range uh, top at 17 uh, 17 above this is the 55 days exponential uh, moving average and the 23.6 percent uh, retracement of the down move from yearly peak at 17.95 to uh, 17 uh, 16.98 low of 24th of uh, October uh, some uh, still is uh, I would say still uh, negative uh, still uh, uh, pardon neutral tone is seen as we have the triple doji on the daily chart you can see it better like this and that shows the a quite strong indecision in the markets uh, most likely the gold traders are uh, awaiting uh, first as I mentioned the US non-farm payrolls data but uh, more important uh, US uh, elections and that's uh, that will give us uh, more clue currently as I said uh, triple doji here doesn't uh, give us any any hint of any a fresh direction but uh, some uh, stronger recovery might be seen on the break of initial uh, 1720 uh, barrier uh, above which uh, to open a 1730 uh, break point this is the low of uh, 15th of October and the high of uh, 23rd of October ahead of uh, which uh, after which comes 1735 38.2 percent retracement as said some improvement has seen on the hourly indicators that are now again above the their midlines and the, some momentum is has been regained but uh, still we are still below 1720 break here is uh, uh, to signal we should uh, focus uh, 1720 and 1730 zone in the near term if we see the break uh, here then uh, we can count on some uh, a stronger corrective action otherwise uh, further uh, uh, sideways movements and the uh, congestion uh, above uh, 1700 the level that offers uh, quite good support uh, for now uh, could be the likely near-term uh, scenario. Uh, daily indicators are still in the negative uh, territory and uh, still uh, lacking momentum for any uh, more significant uh, action as uh, 55 days moving average at 1724 ascending and uh, now uh, still keeping uh, the upside uh, protected. Uh, we have the double uh, golden cross on the daily chart uh, of 55 and 90 days uh, uh, crossing over uh, uh, 200 days moving average but uh, still a lack of uh, momentum uh, is evident uh, for some uh, stronger action uh, from uh, Ichimoku studies the daily uh, indicate daily uh, Ichimoku uh, price movement is still within the uh, cloud uh, with the initial uh, barrier 1720 again this is the Tenkan uh, uh, Sen line and the cloud top at 1727 uh, a break of which is uh, to give initial as bullish signal for the pair uh, with the trend uh, indicators uh, still uh, showing the uh, downtrend uh, firmly in play on the hourly chart on the daily chart pattern while uh, hourly uh, while uh, on the four hour chart uh, we have uh, no direction but uh, hourly indicator is now pointing uh, higher and breaking above the uh, line that uh, signals uh, some strong some uh, uptrend but uh, still as said uh, we need to see the break above 1720 as our initial barrier in order to confirm some uh, uh, post potential uh, recovery and break above the current uh, range that was all from uh, my side uh, please uh, your questions and answers your questions and my answers if you don't mind you can submit your questions now
a question about uh, Dow futures. Let me just see Dow Jones. It's been a long time. Of course, we have it in uh, June. If you give me a second just to change it. Just a second. Okay, uh, you can see the chart now. Uh, well, the Dow Jones is still in the uptrend uh, despite the pullback of uh, peak of uh, 5th of October at uh, 13,597 that found the support at uh, 200 days uh, moving average at uh, 12,925. Uh, uh, overall uh, bullish structure of the uh, low at uh, 11,985. Let me just uh, take a look on the bigger picture how it is. A strong uptrend is evident at this point, so we are back to the daily. Uh, retraced approximately slightly below 38.2% uh, uh, of the entire uh, rally from uh, 11,985 to we said uh, 13,597. Uh, with recovery picking up the pace, uh, uh, break above uh, 13,100, which is the 90 days uh, moving average is uh, now required. Uh, to signal some stronger recovery, though the indicators are still in the negative territory. The stochastic is now pointing higher. That is uh, a good indicator. And the uh, break, uh, regain of uh, next level, which is around 1300, uh, 30,200 uh, to be seen as the next indicator. And above this, uh, 13,280 is the uh, 55 days uh, moving average. Uh, Ichimoku studies uh, are giving initial uh, a bullish signal that is uh, still uh, quite a weak signal as the pair moves uh, back into the cloud uh, finding support uh, uh, slightly below the daily cloud at uh, 12,925 uh, in Chimoku barriers uh, 13,200 uh, uh, this is equivalent to the previous low of uh, mid, mid October this is ten Tenkan Sen line and the Kijun Sen line at uh, 13 uh, 1,260 uh, with the cloud top at uh, 13,350, a uh, break of which to confirm the uh, positive uh, structure. A uh, lower time frame uh, is quite supportive uh, tone seen on the for our chart uh, with the fresh momentum uh, being developed. As uh, the, basically, the price is now attempting through the uh, recent congestion top at uh, 13,100. Uh, and uh, just above this we have uh, the 55 days uh, exponential uh, moving average break of which is uh, to uh, signal some uh, stronger recovery. If we take uh, the measure the latest uh, down leg from uh, uh, 200 uh, from uh, 13,529 down to uh, 12,925 uh, uh, we need to see break above approximately uh, 13,150 which is 38.2 percent retracement and I would say more significant is 13,200 uh, in order to confirm uh, hourly structure is positive RSI is now in, into the breaking into the uh, overbought territory that's my signal some uh, uh, consolidative action but overall picture is uh, still uh, quite uh, uh, positive on the uh, on the near term studies as said uh, a regain of uh, minimum 13,200 uh, it will be seen as a good uh, signal for possible uh, a stronger recovery uh, to end actually the current uh, the signal end of the uh, current uh, corrective pullback uh, from uh, 13,597 uh, down to 12,925 basically to uh, signal a uh, higher low at uh, uh, 12,925 uh, 12, and the open way for stronger recovery. Any failure uh, under 13,200, 300 I would say at this uh, point. Uh, uh, could be risk as we have the uh, textbook uh, sample of uh, change, uh, reversal of the trend. We have a peak and then we have a lower top uh, a failure swing and the fresh extension uh, lower with the daily studies uh, still in the negative uh, territory uh, seeing uh, basically I would say seeing a quite uh, good risk uh, of uh, a further uh, reversal uh, towards the downside. Main risk will be seen on loss of uh, 200 days uh, moving average at uh, 12,939 uh, that will uh, uh, confirm the negative uh, stance of uh, 
13.597 an open way for further retracement. Uh, 12.790 is the 50% retracement and seen as the next uh, target ahead of 12.661.8%. Uh, so basically on the near term, um, I would say any bounce higher will be still seen as corrective uh, as long as uh, uh, 13,320, let's say, stays uh, intact. Break above here would uh, re-attract uh, upper barriers and, of course, break above uh, 13,529, uh, which is the lower top of uh, 18th of October, is to refocus uh, the recent peak at uh, 13,597. I hope the answer was uh, good enough. Any further questions, please? Okay, thank you. If uh, no questions, I would like then to thank you all. I can see that there is no questions only. Regards, uh, thank you very much. Uh, see you tomorrow at the same time at 8 o'clock. Uh, uh, GMT and uh, good luck today and of course uh, good and profitable uh, trading. All the best.